Hi loves, welcome to TT's Urban Pantry and I have something special in store for you today. I am grinding up my own meat and I'm going to make sausage. Um, both loose sausage and then I'm also going to put some in casings. I got this bad boy. This is a 10 pound pork shoulder for $12. Um, I first started doing this back in like March, April, and these were 25 plus. The best deal at that time that I found was Costco had two of them, but I really didn't like the two of them because I had to make them pretty fast or find room in the freezer. And I have another one out in the freezer that I got for $11. So these are steel. I encourage you to stock up on it. But I'm going to take this pork shoulder. It's a pork shoulder butt roast. And I'm going to dice it up into about an inch and a half cubes. Um, and then I am going to grind them in my KitchenAid. So I'll show you everything that I have. And, um, and then I'm going to speed everything up because it's going to take a while. And you'll have to excuse Kodak. He got new toys today. As you can see, he's demolished them all, but one I'm stepping on. So I'm using this KitchenAid attachment. It's um, the metal meat grinder. I got it from Amazon, and I can put the attach the link in the description box. But this is what it looks like, and it comes with everything I need. I took all the metal utensils out, and they're in the freezer because when you're grinding because they warm up. You kind of want to keep them very cold so you're not um, potentially um, cooking your meat or anything like that. So I have them in the freezer until I'm going to use them. I am also using Legs, L-E-G-G. -G. Um, I got this from Amazon and I'll also put the link in the description. But this is fantastic seasoning, outstanding. Um, this is what the package looks like when it's not open, and I believe it was like $6. This is maple flavored breakfast sausage, and here, I've used it before, so I just put it in one of my um, ball jars, and this is Cajun sausage seasoning, so that's what I'm going to make today is Cajun sausage, and I also have Brockwurst seasoning, and like I said, it's fantastic, so I highly recommend these. And I have sausage casings. I only have one because I don't plan on doing very much. But in the sink, in a bowl of vinegar and water mixture, I have one sausage casing. Um, and what I do is, comes in a package. They advise you to keep it in its original package because um, the liquid helps preserve it and this is supposed to last forever. So I have the original package here that we got from our local butcher store and then I have a, a vacuum seal bag that I use and I just cut that open and when I'm done with it today, I'll go ahead and I'll vacuum seal this closed again and put it out in the garage. But I take one of the casings out and I cut it kind of small this time. It's probably about that big. And I run water through it, open it up and run water through it about three or four times. And now it's just soaking in the vinegar and water mixture. Here are my attachment pieces. And they were bright and shiny. And it says don't put it in the dishwasher, but I put it in the dishwasher. So now they're not. So I'm going to hook this up. And when I put them in the freezer now, I put them in a bag because I actually lost one of my blades all the way down at the bottom and stuck. But from Amazon, again, I got four blades for like five bucks. So I'm going to load everything in here and get started.
um, the blade and was not fitting onto the other attachment and um, I could not get it to come out even cutting it smaller without the blade and I was not about to let all this meat go to waste so thank the Lord I have a target two minutes away from me I looked it up on the app it told me what aisle ran out got it came back washed it all and put it in here worked just fine this I don't know if you can tell but this is full of meat so now here's the fun part and put it all in here and season it and then we get to taste it you want to taste it before you move on to your second round that way you know if you need more seasoning or what I don't add any salt to it because it's pork and I don't want to over salt it and um, so what I'm gonna do is season it and then cook a little bit at a time and taste it that was the perfect amount of seasoning um, I'm gonna run it through one more time Here's my sausage. What I'm going to start doing is start twisting it. Start twisting it away from me. And then I'll measure this one, same, and twist it to me. It just exploded. So, why you want to disinfect your surface beforehand? So. I will tie this in a knot and I'm just going to split this in half. First I'm kind of squeezing the meat so it's away from the seam. And twist it. And now I will tie this. even gonna lie this is a messy process but it's so worth it you're doing your own so I have a toothpick here after I just wash my hands I have a toothpick here and I'm gonna punch a couple holes in it just to let some air in it so it doesn't explode when we go to cook it all right so out of that nine pounds of the pork shoulder still have this I didn't even cut it off the bone I'm gonna save it for ham and beans or something like that for some type of soup. I have probably, I'm sure each of these are over a pound, so I'm just gonna say three pounds of ground sausage, four links, and then I have the rest that I'm going to use when I make some red beans. 
Thank you for watching TT's Urban Pantry. If you enjoyed this content or was able to learn anything from it, please hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And as always, have a wonderful and blessed day.